So we already took all the measurements for the cargo space in the Model 3 and Model Y, did all the comparisons on that. Today we're going to look at some actual uh, items being placed in each vehicle to see how it compares. I'm going to mostly focus on luggage. I do have uh, a lot of luggage to uh, test it out with, but I'm also going to try some other items such as a couple different ladders and a bike. So we'll just see how they fit in there and then uh, see how much more space there is in the Model Y versus the Model 3. So first up is going to be this ladder here. It is a, maybe I should just measure it. And it is just over eight feet long, right around 16 inches wide. Could be tricky getting in there. I'm going to try obviously put down the back seats and I'm also going to put down the passenger seat. Going to be a lot more challenging, I think, in here, just trying to get it kind of fished in there but we'll see so nap time for the passenger here in the model 3 i'm going to try to rest the ladder up here go through the middle of the two seats here to the back all right so it's over eight feet like i said no problem getting it in here It'd be totally comfortable to drive with a ladder right next to you, of course. I'm gonna see how far I can actually get it up here. Again, as I talked about in the other video, definitely wanna be very careful of the windshield, the seat. I put a nice little canvas on here to protect that. And if you were actually driving with this, you wanna be very careful of your screen because that is a very expensive screen to mess up. All right, so there it is right up against the glass. Again, for any amount of time you're gonna have it up there, you gotta be very careful. It's also wedged in between there and the screen. So that's not awesome, uh, but it is there. And with that eight foot ladder, still have, uh, you know, maybe a foot and a half at most extra. So you get a nine foot, something nine foot by, 16 inches fits in there. That is about the farthest it can get in there because of how far that seat can go down and it's basically up against the glass. So we'll just do the same thing here in the Y, except we can just easily drop down the seat, which is great. And of course we gotta do nap time for the Model Y driver. Slide it as far forward as we can get, and then we'll lean the seat back. That's as far as it goes, huh? All right. So one difference here in the Y, it does not hit that seat there. So I could actually go as far as the range was for the seat without hitting that back of the seat there. So. That actually might be a little bit of an advantage because it can actually go a little bit lower here, I think. And of course, you've got a lot higher to work with up on the front glass. So let's see how it goes. Here we are, we did the same thing in the Model Y here and easily fits an eight foot ladder in there, but extra space, eh, it's about the same. Honestly, about the same. It's a lot easier to get in there though. Don't have to worry about the back of the seat here getting in your way. And uh, not much advantage really of that seat going down more. Still up against the glass. Again, not a great idea to travel with something like this up against the glass and the screen. So definitely just short time or very careful. Lots of extra padding if you're gonna do something like this. But you know, eight foot long ladder, no problem. Next up, six foot step ladder. Should be super easy to put in there. I'm hoping actually in both cars we'll be able to have room for two passengers with a six foot step ladder. Actually, maybe, maybe three. 
let's see. Okay, so I already put my seat forward a little bit from where I normally am driving. So this is actually not going to fit on that side. I think if I put that seat a little bit further forward. Okay, it's very tight for me, but I can fit in here. So let's see if I can push the ladder in further. I had to put it at an angle there to get this in there. So that's pretty tight actually. But I think I might be able to put that seat up. <laughs> if that seat wasn't so far back. No more nap for the front passenger here. And... Yep. Seems to be locked in there. So there you go. Model three, you can do three passengers and a six foot ladder. Let me just check actually, pretty sure it closes. Yep, no problem. So in the Model Y, much easier to put in there. I did not have to adjust my front seat at all from the normal driving position. So it just slid right in there. I think it's because of the more upright seat there that makes it a lot easier to fit in there, but fit in there no problem three passengers and a six foot step ladder should close no problem yep piece of cake next up is the bicycle normal 26 inch wheels I'm not taking the wheels off or the handlebars or the seat needs to be able to fit in there just like that because I don't normally take them off because it doesn't have a quick release. Actually, the front one does have quick release, but anyway, I don't bother with that because other bikes that we have do not have that, so it just needs to fit in there just like that. And you may recall that I did do this previously with the Model Y, trying to get two bikes in there, and we determined two was very tight next to impossible but one bike fit in there so does the bike fit in the three i don't know all right so the answer is no without taking the wheel off you cannot fit this bike in the model three problem is the opening here you can't tilt it with the seat there and the wheel there it's already just barely fitting in between those two so it has to be exactly like that and if you tilt this at all handlebars have a problem and the wheel has a problem again if you took the wheel off tilted the handlebars took the seat off it could slide in there no problem and there's plenty of room left obviously to slide it in so if you need to take the bike apart to do it, that's inconvenient, but it can be done if needed, if it's just you and your bike. All right. So on the Model Y, piece of cake, put it in there. One bike, you just slide it in, don't have to take the wheels off. You can just turn this. And you know, I have some weird handlebars here and I could definitely easily turn that but in the model y you don't have to move anything you don't have to adjust anything you can just slide it in obviously it's gonna get dirty so you know i recommend the canvas probably put like the canvas back here over the wheels and stuff or i have heard that you can get a bike bag that might be nice but anyway either way one bike in the model y no problem those different things fit in there. The biggest difference was on the bike. Obviously the bike was a lot easier in the Model Y than the Model 3. Again, if you wanted to take the bike apart, it would fit no problem in the Model 3, but it would be a tight squeeze or impossible, depending on your bike, to put it in the Model 3 without taking it apart. So 
that's a big difference there in the Model 3 and Model Y. Also, the ladder, the step ladder, six foot, um, was much easier to put in the Y. Didn't have to adjust the front seat at all, so I could easily drive, which is kind of important uh, while you have that step ladder in there and two other passengers. So that was convenient. Obviously, if you only had yourself, you could easily just slide it in there, uh, you know, and just sacrifice the passenger seat as much as you want because it's just you and the ladder. But either way, those are a couple different things. But now I'm gonna go through a few pictures here I took uh, of loading various size luggage into the cars, uh, see how they compare it between the two. And then I'm going to see how many carry-on size roller bags fit in each vehicle. because everybody wants to take a road trip with five people and eight roller bags. We're gonna see how that would fit in the Model 3 and the Model Y. All right, so Model 3. Actually had to borrow roller bags to have this many, but I have four across the back, two right here, one, in the underfloor storage. So seven carry-on size bags pretty easily in the trunk of the Model 3. Closes no problem. And we already determined that if you have a smaller carry-on or a squishable carry-on it will fit in the model 3 frunk but it is very close to not working even with this one which is a little bit squishy 
see if it fits here. So that one just barely fits in there. So if you have one carry-on, carry-on, quotes, size bag for like a red compartment on an airline that is smaller than most, like the small size carry-on, it will fit in the front of the Model 3. But it's not as deep in the Model 3, so it's pretty tight. But that would make eight carry-on size bags in the Model 3 with five passengers still, you know, three comfortably in the back, of course, because it's, you know, it's comfortable for three adults, five adults in the Model 3, no problem. Now, really, you know, two adults, three smaller adults, maybe, uh, more likely three kids in the back, and that would be okay. Still gonna be a little bit tight in the back with three but super comfortable for four. So I personally like to use the front for any type of things like the charger or some uh, items to patch a tire, air up a tire, should you have that problem. For the Model Y on our road trip, we had charging cords, extension, you know, we had the jack, we had the air pump, first aid kit, tire repair kit, charger, extra extension cores, adapters, all kinds of stuff there. So all that fit, no problem in the front. And that's is what I would recommend. We also had our shoes in there, because why not? Still had plenty of room left over after putting all that stuff in there. But we did not use it for the carry-on size bag for our road trip. But today we're going to see how many roller bags fit in the Model Y and see if it is more than eight, which you can maybe, let's say seven and a half roller bags in the Model 3, because again, the front one would be very small. So that same bag that just barely squeezed in the Model 3 fits no problem in the Model Y. Got lots of extra space here on either side and a more normal size carry-on also fits no problem and could close i think i'm going to need this bag for the trunk so i'm going to go ahead and leave it out of the front here for now but just note that one carry-on size bag easily fits in the front of the model y there it is eight roller bags let's see if all of these fit in the trunk here of the model y pretty sure they will there's the one in the under floor storage. Plenty of room there. Could actually put another small bag on top of that if it was skinny, because you've got all the way up to this level here. So six inches or so. So if you had a skinny bag or two, two you know small bags, you could fit them over there. Okay, so. Here it is, all the roller bags in there, and still plenty of view out the back here. Uh, I guess I'll prove that here in just a second, but one, two, three, four across the back. Nice advantage here is in the Model Y, you can easily stand them upright, and you can stand up the next two upright, and these two, they're a little bit shorter, so whatever but that is eight bags there plus one under there plus one in the front that is ten. Ten, easily so there it is with ten bags we have one in the front well i don't have one in the front because i didn't have enough bags but if i had one in the front one in the underfloor storage in the back and eight in the trunk. You can easily see out the back here. Really no obstruction whatsoever with that. But you know what? I bet we could fit another one if we didn't care if we could see out the back. So 
Hmm. Let's see if we can get one more in there. All right, so I ran out of bags here. But three stacked up there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Could put nine there, but I only have eight. So nine there, 10 for one under the floor storage, and 11 with the front. Closes, no problem. And of course, I guess the concern is, can you see out the back? No, <laughs> you cannot see out the back. But if you don't care about seeing out the back or you just want to use your backup camera here, which is really nice on the Model Y, you got the full screen there, so that is great. And you can see clearly out the back anytime you want. And the backup camera actually works when you're at speed. If there's some reason you might want to look out the back while you're driving, you can do that in the Teslas. So again, 11 roller bags, carry on size fit in there. But wait a second. I didn't even use the underfloor storage on the front part of the trunk. So whereas before I could get five on the back row, I can now get six with that underfloor storage there. And I think I could get at least four or five more right here. So I think 10, no problem. 11, no problem here. So could I get 12? Yes. So six bags here with this underfloor storage here. And we could still get the six here. So I got two here. And remember I had four on top of it. And you still have some room here for a bag there and there for like backpacks, small backpacks or squishy things. So 12 roller bags in the trunk and one in the front, 13. 13 roller bags. That is crazy. Honestly, if you're five people traveling with 13 roller bags, I don't know what you're doing. You're packing way too much. Uh, you should probably uh, rent a big van or something uh, to haul it. So tons of storage in the Model Y. Incredible that you can put 13 carry-on size roller bags in the Model Y and still have five passengers in it. So that is incredible. So what did you think? Is that... Uh, significant amount of storage would that be intriguing for you on a road trip it definitely was great for us on a road trip to have all that extra storage and we did recently take that road trip with five people in the car five passengers in the car and all the luggage to Disney and back so it was super easy to fit all that luggage in there and obviously from the fact that you can put this mini roller bags in here and, you know, obviously I'm taking out the uh, little underfloor storage covers, but still, that is incredible. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We've got lots more content coming. Next, we're going to be talking about the road trip that we made to Disney and what it was like with five passengers and luggage, <laughs> as evidenced by this video. Plenty of room for the luggage, uh, but was it enough for five passengers? I don't know. Let's talk about that in that video. So definitely subscribe if you want to see that. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.